It's about the restoration of our republic. We want to educate, encourage, enable the power. We stand for integrity, integrity. honesty, self-reliance, self-defense, and most importantly, no compromise on our foundational principles. This is America's Voice Now. Find America's Voice Now on Facebook and at americasvoicenow.org. Here's Michael Evans. Good morning, America. You're listening to America's Voice Now. My name is Michael Evans, and I will be your host this morning. Well, we've had a heck of a week, a tale to last week, and uh, a heck of a weekend. Folks, the stuff that's coming out is just stunning to me. And when I see how America is responding or not responding in many cases, I'm stunned by it. This morning, we're going we're gonna to try to cover some ground about a couple of issues, not the least of which is this Bundy issue. And I want to talk to you a little bit about truth. Because, well, there's a couple of aspects of it. Some of it media-oriented, some of it patriot-oriented, some of it Bundy-oriented. And we're going to talk about it. The media is misrepresenting the truth. Bundy is um, a guy who says what he says and doesn't think twice about whether or not it's going to be offensive to someone else. In fact, I don't think he realizes it is offensive. And, and in many cases, it shouldn't be. But the truth is that many Americans are offended by it. And more importantly, I think one aspect of this is that I, I see a lot of individuals who I, I got a lot of hate mail after Friday's show. And I think from a lot of people who actually didn't listen to the segment because I played the actual comments that he made. Of course, he made some others since then. All right. Uh, the second topic we're going to cover is climate change hoax and how it's been exposed by one of the primary authors who actually ha has come right out and said he's the lead author there. And he says that the entire report, including the summary, was rewritten for political reasons. You know, this is the holy grail for the climate, climate changers. And they can't wait to dig into your pocket as a result of it. So we're going to expose what's going on with that because the Harvard professor who actually was the primary author of all of the climate information that's going on for the IPCC is actually coming out and saying, um, we, we were told what to write. And ladies and gentlemen, I got to tell you, commissioned science is not science. It's artwork. And there's a big difference. One is an interpretation. The other are facts. And science is fact, not someone's artist rendering of what climate change may look like. Our third topic, the IRS has actually activated the enemies list. Now, you know, we've talked before about the fact that they're building an enemies list, and that's bad enough. But they've not only built the enemies list, now they've actually activated it. And I, I got to wonder why no one is talking about, and, and the, the truth is that it's everyone's silent about the IRS stripping the Patrick Henry Center um, or of for individual liberty, of their tax-exempt status because of some statements they made against the Clintons. Wow. So if you want to see how free speech is being silenced by the IRS and they have actually taken an enemy's list but chosen an enemy from it and slew them, you're going to see it here. Our fourth topic. There are some Tea Party groups that have some explaining to do. The reason I say that is because there are some reports out there about how they're spending money. And when I see a group that spends 80% or 90% of the money on more fundraising and, and administrative costs, they have some explaining to do. 
Now, this should not be taken as a message that all Tea Parties and, and all the, the Tea Party groups out there are not doing their job. But there are a couple that are going to be named in this discussion. And I recently received a, a letter from Tea Party Patriots, and we're going to talk about that as well. All right, let's get into our first topic, because this Bundy thing has created an enormous amount of angst amongst not only patriots, but of course the politicians are now, you know, they're trying to bend with whatever way the wind is blowing. And <clears throat> I put a comment out there last on Friday that Clive and Bundy will be known for, heretofore as Al because he's put his foot in his mouth. Some people took umbrage with that. In fact, I got some email about it, some hate mail actually. And I got to tell you, you know, it's bad enough that the media is unwilling to um, shed a realistic light on what we see going on. But I want to talk about truth for a moment, because part of truth is recognizing and being and using your critical thinking skills to recognize that, you know, just because we believe in, in a movement that requires the federal government to step back from its overreach doesn't mean that we have to support every person that is participating in it. And I don't unsupport uh, Clive and Bundy, but I, here's my problem with it, and it was what my problem was all along. The mainstream media and the Ministry of Propaganda are using this as an opportunity to discredit all of us. And that was exactly what the point was. I think I got some comments from some folks that apparently didn't even listen to the audio segment. I got some email from people that, were, that said to me, you know, you're, you have no right to call him that. Well... Uh, he what he's not a racist. Well, with all due respect, I played the entire segment during the audio during that. I played the entire audio clip of them taking him out of context during the segment. So apparently all those people who sent me an email weren't or, or didn't even watch the segment. They just read the headline and then made a determination. I included one from a member of his security team who happens to be black. He's from Missouri. And he said, I don't really care what Clive and Bundy said. I didn't take it that way. And I'm staying here to support and, and defend the family. The problem that we have is that we have to be careful that we do not fall into the same trap as the ideologues on the left. What do I mean by that? Well, our job is to expose truth to people who are coming awake in vast droves. My job is not to side with you if you think one way or another. My job is not to agree with whatever way the wind blows. I had people who accused me of, uh, of, of attempting to do that and siding with the mainstream media. In fact, I had one person who actually accused me of doing it for ratings. Ratings? What ratings? <laughs> I mean, you got to be kidding me, right? Really? Ratings? You mean ratings for a program that plays on a radio station in the middle of the, the Ozarks and... YouTube videos that YouTube blocks so that I can't get more than a couple of hundred views at best per episode. You know, the Bundy one got a, a couple thousand. That's, that's a sea change. You, you got to be kidding me. Ratings? What ratings? This isn't some mainstream media news program where I'm, I, I, I'm, I've got to worry about what the audience thinks. And frankly, if the audience doesn't agree with me, there's plenty of other channels and plenty of other places and plenty of other people that they can listen. I, I was stunned by that. 
And in, in fact, I'm more than stunned by that. I'm angered by that because that calls my integrity into question. And nobody has the right to do that. Number one, this is an opinion program, and it's generally mine. Number two, it's an educational opinion program, which means that my job is to bring to you the news that the mainstream media either is filled with disinformation from them in an attempt to mislead you, and all I do is throw out an opposing viewpoint and say, hey, maybe you should look at it from this perspective. But do your own homework. Do your own due diligence. Make sure that you have evaluated all the information. Don't take my word for things. Take your own word for things. Don't parrot my opinions. They are only my opinion. How many times have you, the, the routine listeners, heard me say that? A thousand times. The truth is, ratings and, and, and opinion of the listenership is not what this is about. If that was what this was about, I would have stopped doing this a long time ago. And I'm disturbed by the fact that there are people who will say it doesn't matter that he's inarticulate. No, I, 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 it doesn't matter that he's inarticulate. He's entitled to say anything he wants to say. He's entitled through his First Amendment right to free speech and free thought to think and speak how he wants. However, he should have, and those people around him, <clears throat> those people who have jumped on this and that were out there, should have been encouraging him and or finding for him a spokesperson. He went on CNN the other day and, 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 and added to it. You see, he doesn't, it, since he knows that he's not a media spokesman and he doesn't understand the traps that are being laid for him by the progressive media in a specific and willful, intentional uh, purpose of catching him in something that they can use to, to dissuade the public from, from believing or supporting him. Worse yet, it is taking the entire patriot movement, movement <clears throat> and casting everyone who did support him as having similar opinions. And that's wrong. I give you the gentleman who was part of his security team from Missouri who was black. He said, I'm a member of the security team. I don't care what he said. I'm, this is not about him. It's about, the, it's about the BLM and federal overreach. You see, here's the problem. He's drawn off the power He's emptied the, the sails of wind for literally a ton of us who have been out there fighting this battle for a very long time. And I resent that. I resent being cast as something I'm not, a racist. Or I resent being cast by the media, but I resent being cast that way because w I, I'm in support of what he's been doing. What he's been doing is staying... I'm going to stand up against the federal government, period, end of argument. But the truth is, just because, if I cannot speak the truth about my thoughts about the, the, the Bundy issue and his daily press conferences, if I can't use honesty and use critical thinking to decipher whether or not he's made a mistake that's costing all of us something, then, and, and I'm castigated by, a, by a, a group of viewers who disagree with that, then I've got to ask, are you doing the same exact thing? Are you? Someone actually sent me an email and said I was a sunshine patriot. Uh, I don't think they used that phrase, but that was the general consensus. Fair weather friend, something along those lines. I got to tell you something. If that is the opinion that this audience has, after having listened and heard these programs for as long as I've been doing them, at my cost and expense, I don't get paid for this, folks. He, you know, I pay all the bills, in fact. If that's what people believe, then I, y y apparently you've never either believed a word I've said 
or you are so ideologically wrapped up in the issue that the minute someone presents a critical thought, your critical thinking skills evaporate. And that's not good. The truth of the matter is, I was right about what the MSM would do. If anyone listened to Bill O'Reilly, I believe it was Thursday, after he made the comments, <clears throat> he roundly trounced not only the entire issue, but everyone who supported him. And that guy has a bigger audience than all of the rest of the, the uh, mainstream Ministry of Propaganda combined. He's got a bigger audience than anybody on CNN, than anybody on MS, uh, NBC, anybody on NBC, CBS, ABC. The number one audio or commentator in the nation threw all of us under the bus and discredited the entire movement based on his statements. The truth is, Bundy either needs to be quiet or he needs to obtain for himself a spokesperson who will do his talking for him because clearly he is not capable of determining where the pitfalls lie. I'm not a national person. I can say what I want. And the reason I can is because I don't really care if the media were to try to castigate me or throw me under the bus. The truth is, I'll stop doing this program tomorrow morning. Couldn't care less. In fact, it would be a relief. But I don't speak for the tens of thousands of people who supported and showed up and donated money. The media is still, in fact, there, there's articles all over the place. I posted one up this morning from The Guardian where they're talking, where they're still using it. And by the way, don't just because The Guardian came out and, and, and ran the Snowden stuff, make no mistake about it. The Guardian is an ultra liberal newspaper. It always has been. The Wire has got entire segments dedicated to it. A list of Clive and Bundy supporters. Now that we know he's a pro-slavery racist. What kind of a headline is that? Ladies and gentlemen, here's what it comes down to. You know, we have to be willing, and I'm going to talk about this in our fourth segment, where we talk about some Tea Party members have some explaining to do about donations and their spending. We have to be willing to look at ourselves realistically, and honestly. And if we're unwilling to do that, then really are we vastly different from those that we purport to disagree with? Truth is truth. It's, it, it's not changed by your opinion or, or someone else's. The truth is, Al Bundy, or, or uh, Cliven Bundy, excuse me, needs to stop Talking. Period. End of statement. He needs a spokesperson. He needs a, someone to speak on his behalf. You can disagree with that. But that doesn't make everything else I say wrong. You can disagree with whether or not he should be able to say what he wants to say. He should. But when he says things like that, that harm all of us and cast all of us and put the, the, the mainstream media who is educating the, the rest of America and sets us back and puts tens of thousands back to sleep, maybe millions. I'm incensed. And if you don't like that, there's plenty of other places out there where you can go and you can get your education and your information. It's that simple. It's the basic principle of capitalism and freedom and liberty. No one has to listen to this program. That's one of the reasons why, quite frankly, this program 
is not popular because I will not stand here and agree and acquiesce to what everything else is. So like it or not, I took umbrage with what Clive and Bundy said. And I will continue to take umbrage with the fact that he has cast all of us in a negative light. And he's cast our movement and the fact that this was about the BLM, not about a guy named Cliven. The truth of the matter is, everything that happened out there to that family was wrong. And nothing he says will change that. The only difference is, will America now stand up and demand answers or will they turn away? And if his words and if his statements destroy the value of <clears throat> millions of Americans who looked upon this and said, yeah, something's wrong with that picture. And they say, now they say, something seemed to be wrong there, but maybe it's really him after all. Then it's cost us massive forward movement. And the truth is, I've worked long and hard, taken an enormous amount of risk, and so have many, many others, all of you included, to educate and inform those people within our circle of influence. And if we lose ground as a result of that, that's not good. It's amazing to me how fast the media jumped all over this. It was like they actually were waiting. The headlines were almost pre-written. Even Heller, who was, you know, staunchly uh, supporting the issue, now says that he completely disagrees with Bundy's appalling and racist statements and condemns them in the most strenuous way. He had an advocate in Heller, senator from Nevada. All right, that's my thoughts on it. Like it or not, or not. You're listening to America's Voice now. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about the climate change hoax that is exposed by its primary author, who's clearly stating emphatically that this is not a, um, a serious report and that it's been rewritten <clears throat> to um, as commissioned art, not science. If that's what we're relying upon, ladies and gentlemen, to change the entire economy of the world. Stunning. You're listening to America's Voice Now. Find us on the web at americasvoicenow.org. You can email me directly with your comments at mike at americasvoicenow.org. We'll be right back. 